So, after winning the very first game of the new Super Bowl head-to-head -head that they went ahead and released, we are on our second game trying to go on ahead and continue the one game win streak that we got so the very first game we goomba stomped our opponent i think it was 30 some odd to like zero it, it got ugly so uh looking forward to hopefully having similar success so taking a look at who he has antonio brown mcnab erlacher definitely no slouch has himself some very very good playmakers and as always always a good advantage to start off in the second half with the ball so love starting off on defense you know try to give me a feel for what my opponent likes to do gives me an idea that way when i'm done with my offensive possession i already hopefully have um, a game plan for what he likes to do on offense so fourth and 18 after a big sack after a play uh play action attempt we force a punt and here we are on offense seeing if we can go on ahead and get the run game going and i'm on green fumbles yet again i don't know what it is about i'm on green and fumbling but this man fumbled again he fumbled twice in one game for me the other uh oh no i think it was three times in one game i don't know he's he's punted on the ground a little too frequent for my liking and i definitely do not enjoy going on ahead and just giving free um free possessions away from fumbling as we get a user interception right there with Brian Urlacher over the middle. So um, hopefully Green can get it together. You know, I'm going to try him out for the remainder of this season. And so far, that 95 trucking doesn't really seem to bowl folks over how I thought it would. And uh, he's putting the ball on the ground too often. He does have stretches, though, where he looks dominant, though. Like he's just running folks over. He's falling forward. He's tough to bring down. But then there's other instances where he can't truck out of a paper bag and other people are just stripping him. He's fumbling. So I'm not sure. We're going to give him the remainder of the season to see um, if he's able to, uh, you know, catch my eye, you know, just do something to keep a starting job. Because right now, I don't I don't know. I really don't know what direction I want to go as far as running back. Le'Veon Bell's good. 91 speed, but doesn't truck consistently. And we all know trucking is definitely the way you want to go this year considering juke moves are very inconsistent and if you can have somebody that can truck for you then you know you can definitely create some havoc and uh levy on bell just doesn't do that uh LaShawn mccoy damn sure can't do that adrian peterson is similar to amon green where oh they'll truck for you but they just have a fumbling problem the carrying isn't all that great and they will put the ball on the ground as right here we're looking for the c route and uh we end up dropping it unfortunately so on third and 18 we need a hot one right here and we are looking rb was open but we go to the in route right here nice pass right there to herman moore and another fumble another fumble this guy is just making me fumble all over the damn place and i'm like how am i how am I so oh my goodness, man. How am I supposed to win this game? But thankfully, he continues to test the user over the middle, and we come away. I think that's our third interception, if I'm not mistaken. So right here, we are looking, and we go deep. And we end up hitting Randy Moss, and we get stopped within the red zone on the 16-yard line right there. But unfortunately, very next play after that, AP goes absolutely nowhere. So back to the run, trying to hit the outside, and that right there is locked up. So third and 13 right here. We're trying to force a hot one, and unfortunately, we dropped the pass. So we are going to go on ahead and unfortunately settle for a field goal. Not the worst thing in the world because it does put us up two possessions, but I really would have liked the touchdown right there. But it is what it is. You know, hopefully we can take this lead into the half and uh go into the half starting up 10-0 with boss so we get ourselves another sack right there and that khalil mac has been fantastic for me really 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 enjoying that khalil mac so far so to begin the second half you know definitely want to keep the ball on the ground and uh try to see if i'm on green can be as glitchy as i know he can be man so we hit the outside with that 90 speed but unfortunately he ends up catching up to us but big gain putting us in great position right here we pass out of the backfield right there and kind of dove a little too early man dude taking my damn knee out man i need those so right here big third down right here third and five we decided to run the ball right here 
Blocking was absolutely fantastic as we go up 17 to 0. So, so far, not really having too much issues. The very first few games I've been able to play, um, even though we fumbled a few times. Right there, speaking of fumbling, we get a fumble of our own. And that right there is definitely a good thing to see, considering I fumbled twice. So, uh, we actually get one back. So, we go to Gronkowski underneath really quickly right there. And unfortunately, we don't pick up not too much yards. But very next play, we end up running, get a very, very manageable fourth and inches. And we decide to go for it right there. And I would like to think that right there is pretty much the nail in the coffin, putting this game away. We have a 24-0 lead. And if he's going to go on ahead and come back, I, whew, it would take an absolute miracle on his end and an absolute meltdown on our end. Second and one right here. Goes underneath in the flats. He's able to go out of bounds right there. 22 seconds remaining. And now he's starting to uh, put together a nice little drive right there. McNabb starting to throw some dots. We got some good man. The man coverage goes deep up top. And we are there to go ahead and swat that pass away. Second and 10. And that boy Khalil Mack, man. That man will come screaming. Third and 10. Throws into coverage. And that right there was actually a very, very, very good play by josh norman i i'm not haven't really been too impressed by norman but that right there definitely a good play as we did have x on the c route but we end up hitting the post deep over the middle <coughs> then we end up running the ball right there for an easy score and we are just adding to our attribute um, our attributes our statistics right here 31 to 0 handful of rushing touchdowns passing the ball well running the ball well the only misfortunes we've had this game were those fumbles but thankfully you know uh they weren't able to cost us you know because sometimes you you face good players and giving somebody extra possessions to fumble is tough winning games like that if you're going up somebody who's good and you give them two extra possessions it is not easy but thankfully he went ahead and just had trouble passing the ball went ahead and threw several interceptions and was able to not really take advantage of any mistakes he was able to force so right here he's very close to going on ahead and scoring putting his first points of the game and we are trying to get our back-to-back -back shutouts on third and go the fake fullback hb toss and he ends up scoring and 31 to 6 at this point as he missed the pat and uh we are just you know only 30 seconds remain <coughs> excuse me i think i tried one time to go deep and then uh i don't think i tried anything else as just look at the dot by moss i mean uh brady the Moss. just look at look at oh my goodness that is the play where the last game if you guys seen the salary cap game where i only had 20 seconds left and i was down i think four no three points i think and we threw an absolute dot to cover four beater and tom brady just throws a dime i mean he just absolutely throws a beautiful pass over there to momo and we end up scoring 38 to 6 and that right there is going to be the end of the game so hopefully you guys enjoyed man so far really 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 enjoying um you know the new mode looking forward to hopefully being able to you know win some super bowls knock some people out of super bowls one thing that i did notice though is that uh when you're in a playoff game and this is how you know if you're in somebody's playoff game if you're not already uh, it's five minute quarters every time you play a super bowl game or a playoff game it's five minute quarters so you could be in your very first game of the season and if you look and you have five minute quarters that means your opponent is in their postseason or vice versa you know you could be in your postseason and you know if it's five minute quarters then either your opponent is in there with you or he's not but you are but nonetheless if it is uh if one of you guys are in the postseason it is five minute quarters so that right there is a little different you know like to see that you know just to, uh, adds a little bit more time to go on ahead and add um you know the ability to uh come back by adding some more time and you know if you are uh down and out it's definitely a good thing to have that extra time but if you're winning you're like damn it <laughs> i got this extra time i want the game to be over already but you know nonetheless looking forward to hopefully reaching the postseason soon and uh trying that out for the first time so that's the end of the video fellas hopefully you guys enjoy one of the rare games where i'm actually able to uh over double the amount of passing yards than rushing Follow me on Twitter if you guys do not already. As always, appreciate the love and support, man. It really means a lot. It's your boy, Jess, man. We will see you guys next time. Peace. Give it to me, baby. Yeah.